Hi everybody, this is Appa Brian with Appa Baseball Classics bringing to you an arts and crafts video. When my uh, children were young, this is probably you know, this is 20 years ago, 15 years ago, we would go to the grocery store and we would see the gumball machines with the mini gumball helmets and we loved collecting those. We'd put a quarter in, get a helmet, and my son ended up with about four or five dozen, I think, <laughs> helmets. Uh, he has since passed them on to his grandsons, or to his nephews, my grandsons. And um, I've always had an interest in mini gumball helmets. What I didn't have was the college helmets, so I decided to make those, and that's what this little video is about, how to make these, how to make these easily into college gumball helmets. I start with the helmets themselves, they don't make these, I don't know if they make these anymore. Um, I don't see the gumball machines, but you can you can order these uh, from eBay. And I've ordered about a hundred of these to get all the colleges. And um, I spent, you know, probably a dollar a piece, maybe a little less on average. And I prefer getting the ones, this one has the stickers applied. You can remove the stickers usually, not always. But um, if you can get them with the stickers not applied, that's the best. Because you can use the stripes on some of the helmets and you can uh, make your own stickers. And I use these helmets in my game winning drive games. Next year I'll order the 2021 uh, season for all the Division I college teams. Uh, you can get that from downygames.com. I have some past videos that explain some home rules I use when I play with my uh, grandsons or sons or Apple Lori. And uh, but the rules are fine for me uh, as written uh, when playing solitaire. So uh, you can use these gumball helmets to keep track of standings. It's you know there's been so much movement in the college it's hard for me to remember uh, where they are all at. Um, you know, Liberty University is a independent team but between the American Conference and Conference USA and um, Western Athletic Conference. I have, I, pretty much the main conferences I know, you know, what teams are in SEC, Big Ten, Big 12, Pac-10. But the others, I'm going to have to do a little studying to get memorized where these teams are. For now, this is where I store them. I have the SC teams, SEC teams here tonight. LSU is playing K State, and um, have another league here. Another league here. Here's Toledo. They play in the bowl. This is the older North Texas. I'm not doing every. You know, most colleges have a few helmets, but I'm doing one they use primarily, or a current one or whichever one I favor the most. Um, Ball State. In this drawer I have the, the Big Ten here. I have the Big 12 over here. K-State will be playing tonight. Oklahoma State had a great season. What a, what a run they've been on. Um, TCU's had a couple of different varieties of helmets. They want they have one with a black stripe. I think I might fix add that. Keep that one out. Texas Tech won their bowl game. Over here I have the independent teams. Notre Dame. Uh, let's see. Army. BYU and their blue helmet. At some point I might make a white one. That's what they use most of the time. Here's Appalachian State. 
This top drawer has the whack, whack teams and whatever conference Navy plays in. I'm making just one from these teams, but Navy I made, Navy's had so many varieties. Well, I had made a white one that they've used and then the one with the goat on it. That's this one here. SMU. That's what, when I was an athletic director, our football team, we designed our helmets kind of after SMU. Uh, we didn't have a horse for a um, mascot. We had a contender on the side, but this stripe was the same and the uniforms were the same as SMU. So that's where they're stored. There are some of the mini gumball helmets I made yesterday. I made 18 of them. Uh, Minnesota, Bowling Green, Louisiana Tech. New Mexico State Aggies and the Western Michigan Broncos. Western Michigan this year wore white helmets, but I kind of prefer this one from their past more. And over here, these are the helmets that I will make today. I'm going to make a dozen of them. And after those are done, I'll have one helmet for every Division I college team. I also have the NFL helmets, and I have the uh, retro NFL helmets as well. All right, it's time to print the helmet logos. So I'm plug in the curves on my computer. And the sticker paper has a glossy side to it, and it has a flat side to it. You want to make sure it prints on the glossy side. These look like they're about the right size, so we're going to next spray it and preserve the printing. This is golden gloss archival finish, and it's important to, sp to spray your print job on the vinyl sticky, sticky paper to preserve the printing. Even if you let this dry for a day or two, the printing will still smudge off. So we're going to spray it and then we'll let that dry for about 30 minutes. And then after it dries, the printing will not smudge. When you spray the paper, you hold it about 12 inches from the page and uh, make a slow sweeping stroke across the page, back and forth. And um, now we just let it dry. All right, the helmet sheet has had time to dry and now the uh, helmet logos are good to touch. You couldn't do this before spraying it because they would smudge and the printing would be fugitive. It would go away. So I already cut these out and apply them to the helmets. All right, a quick look at what we made today. I made a couple of vintage NFL helmets, the Gale Sayers 1963, 
Chicago Bears, and then the 58 through early 60s Cleveland Browns, which they wore this helmet sometimes this year. Let's see, we made a Texas, Texas State. And University of Texas, San Antonio. These are Texas Red Hawks. And North Texas. Here they go. North Texas Mean Green. That's one of their helmets. A little more update, but still not the same as what they wore this year. South Florida, South Florida Bulls, Rutgers University made today the LSU Tigers, University of Central Florida, and I'm not too sure I like this one, but I went with a Boise State. Can't see it very well. Have a number on the sign. Might, might do the Boise State white helmet with a horse. It would probably come out better. So there we go. As of today, I have all of the Division I teams. I don't think there are any that I've missed. I had a couple extras. Teams that have made more than one helmet. All right, here's a look at all my uh, American Athletic Conference in the order of their standings, Cincinnati, University of Houston. Uh, Central Florida, East Carolina, Tulsa, SMU. We got um, Memphis, Navy, Tulane, uh, South Florida Bulls, and Temple University. Division I independent schools finish as follows Notre Dame, BYU, Army, Liberty University. Uh, New Mexico State, University of Massachusetts, and UConn. All right, the Atlantic Coast Conference had Wake Forest. North Carolina State was in second place. And then Clemson, Louisville, Florida State, Syracuse, and Boston College. Some of these, the more rounded helmets, like Syracuse and Boston College, Bought those on eBay, I didn't make those. And then we have uh, in the Atlantic Coast Conference, the Coastal Division, Pitt, University of Iowa, Virginia Tech was third, Virginia, Duke, North Carolina, and Georgia Tech. Big Ten Conference, East, that's Michigan, Ohio State, Michigan State, Penn State, Maryland, Rutgers, and University of Indiana. Not the current Indiana helmet, but one they've used in the past. And the Western Division, you have Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Purdue, Illinois, Nebraska, and Northwestern. All right, let's move to Big 12 country. That's Oklahoma State and Baylor. Oklahoma, Iowa State, Kansas State, West Virginia, Texas, TCU, Texas Tech, and Kansas. Now for the Sun Belt Conference, you had Appalachian State, Georgia State, Coastal Carolina, Troy, Georgia Southern, Raging Cajuns of Louisiana, Texas State, University of Louisiana Monroe, Red Hawks, South Alabama Jaguars, and Arkansas State. All right, here's the Southeast Conference. We got Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Missouri, South Carolina, Florida, 
Vanderbilt. I like the back end of Vanderbilt's helmet with the anchor. And then Alabama, Ole Miss, Arkansas, Mississippi State, Texas A&M, Auburn, and I'm not sure which one of these LSUs I'm going to go with, but we've got the yellow LSU and the white one. Here are the ESPN standings for Conference USA. In the Eastern Division, you got Western Kentucky, Marshall, Old Dominion, Middle Tennessee State, Florida Atlantic, uh, Charlotte 49ers, and Florida International University. In the West Conference USA, you got University of Texas San Antonio, UAB, one of my favorite helmets, Mean Green of North Texas, UTEP, University of Texas El Paso, Rice, Brock Farm School, Southern Mississippi, and Louisiana Tech, one of their past helmets. Here are the ESPN final standings for the Mid-American Conference, Eastern Division, Kent State with one of their past helmets, Miami of Ohio, Ohio University, Bowling Green University, Buffalo, and the Akron Zips. Western Division, we have Northern Illinois. This is the um, Central Michigan team. They had a helmet that was like the old Washington Redskins in the late 50s, early 60s. Chippewas. Toledo Rockets, Ball State, Eastern Michigan, and another one of my favorites, Western Michigan. Uh, they currently have a white helmet, but I like this one better. I like the Pac-12 Northern Division. Starts off with Oregon, Washington State Cougars, Oregon State, Cal, Washington, and Stanford. Pac-12 Conference South Division, one of the past Utah helmets and Arizona State, UCLA, USC, Arizona, and Colorado. And finally, but not least, we have Utah State in the Mountain West Conference, winning the Mountain Division, Air Force, Boise State, Josh Allen School, Wyoming, Colorado State, and University of New Mexico. And the Mountain West Western Division, you have San Diego State Aztecs, um, Fresno State Grizz Grizzlies, or Fresno State Bulldogs, Nevada Wolfpack, San Jose State, Hawaii, and UNLV. So that's a look at Arts and Crafts Day and all my NCAA mini gumball helmet collection.